students welcome to the session in this session we are going to talk about another important part of the elementary canal that is esophagus and stomach we'll pick up one uh, by one we'll talk about these parts and then we'll see what are the functions of these parts and why they are necessary now we've already talked about the buccal cavity and what are the different parts of the buccal cavity and their importance now what we're going to do is that we are going to talk about another part that is the esophagus if you remember students we had talked about how tongue was helping us in swallowing our food and the food which is swallowed from the mouth it goes into the esophagus esophagus is also called as the food pipe it's pretty easy to understand it is why is it called as the food pipe first of all the look that it has right this is looks like a pipe and it is used to uh, transport the food from the mouth to the stomach right so whatever food we swallow it passes through the esophagus and then it goes to the stomach that is why it is also known as the food pipe now the where is the location of the food pipe so uh, the food pipe runs along the neck right and it goes down up to the stomach over here as you can see it runs from the along the neck right the whole part to your chest and then down towards your stomach now you might wonder that how the movement of the food takes place do we simply put the food into our mouth and it just slides down that is not the case there is a special type of movement which occurs in the uh, esophagus which allows the food to move down it towards the stomach now as you can see that how does this movement takes place so over here you can see that there is a contraction and this part of the this is contracted and this part is relaxed right then again when the uh, contraction occurs it allows the food to be pushed forward that means it allows the food to be pushed towards the stomach right so there is contraction and then there is relaxation and this movement allows the downward movement of the food from your buccal cavity towards the stomach this kind of movement is seen throughout the alimentary canal which allows the movement of food from one part of the uh, one part of the alimentary canal to the other right once we have swallowed it once we swallowed the food uh, from the buccal cavity it moves from the esophagus to the stomach with the help of this movement which occurs through uh, throughout the alimentary canal this is a very important movement which happens in the esophagus and in the alimentary canal sometimes what happens is that the food is not accepted by our body right you must have heard of a you must have even felt the vomiting sensation and you must have uh, many a times when you don't feel uh, your stomach is upset many a times people vomit right so uh, this is uh, when the food is not being accepted by the uh, by your stomach and the stomach pushes the food back into the esophagus and through the mouth it comes out it is called as vomiting right now there are many reasons because of which a person might vomit there might be some or the other kind of uh, disease or the irritation of uh, you know or in the stomach which will, which might cause the uh, food to come out through the esophagus and to, uh, out of the mouth uh, this movement which we are seeing right in for going for the food to go down same kind of movement is seen when the uh, food is coming out in the form of vomiting right now uh, another important thing about the food pipe is like if you remember in the previous session we had talked about how while eating we should not talk first thing was one of the reasons which i gave you was that this tongue uh, you might cut your tongue you might hurt your tongue while chewing the other reason is student food pipe now uh, this the other uh, reason is the food pipe 
Now, when many a times you must have noticed that when you are eating in a hurry or while you are talking while eating, uh, you might uh, start coughing up really hard. Okay, you might start coughing up a lot, right? You feel that the food is stuck somewhere and you are you are coughing, right? Sometimes you start hiccuping. The reason for this is that sometimes when you are talking, the food pipe, uh, the food might enter windpipe, right? This is another uh, tube-like structure which is present in our body and the function is to bring air to the lungs, right? Its function is to bring the air from the nostrils to the lungs and it runs adjacent to the food pipe. So, suppose this is the food pipe, right? And, the ad and adjacent to it is the windpipe, right? So, it's like this, correct? So that is the reason why because these two pipes are running along with each other that is why it is important that while we are eating we should not talk right also we should not eat in a hurry because when we are eating it's not like we have stopped breathing right both the functions are happening simultaneously that is we are eating as well as we are breathing how do uh, the body uh, what mechanism does the body have to avoid the food going into the windpipe. So there is a flap like structure which is present over the windpipe which covers it, right? This pipe -like, flap like structure uh, closes the windpipe. It actually does not allow the movement of the food into the windpipe and guides the food along the food pipe, right? So that is the reason why if suppose uh, sometimes the food might enter, if a food particle enters the windpipe, we have a serious fit of coughing. The reason for that is that the windpipe is irritated and wants to remove that particle from the, from the pipe. And that's the reason why we cough a lot, right? So this flap like structure is very important in co covering the or avoiding the food. Uh, going into the windpipe, right? So it helps in first of all covering the windpipe and also in guiding the food into the food pipe, right? So this is all about esophagus and the movement that occurs in this particular uh, esophagus or the food pipe is called as the peristalsis, right? This is the movement which allows the movement of food from the mouth towards your stomach. Now subscribe to Bright Duty course at rupees 1 per day only. Download Bright Duty app from Play Store and get the online courses prepared by competent and experienced teachers for different education boards of classes 6 to 10. Bright Duty courses are available for the subjects of Math, Science, Social Science, English and Hindi in English and Hindi medium. Bright Duty follows three-step approach that is learning, assessment and exam preparation. In learning, topic-wise video lectures with explanation of concepts and discussion of textbook examples and questions are available with the solutions. In assessment, topic-wise online MCQ test, practice assignments and chapter-wise question bank are available with the solutions. In exam preparation, previous year's question papers, sample papers and model test papers are available with the solutions. Sign up today on Bright Tuesday and avail your courses at affordable prices.